These are busy times we live in, and sometimes in the hectic pace of things, we fail to stop and smell the asphalt. What in the world are you talking about, Alan? Well, most of America lives in busy urban settings, and people are lucky if they even get to know their neighbor. Well, that's true. So what we like to do here on Branson Jam is pause for a moment to introduce some folks, just ordinary folks, who are living out their lives in extraordinary ways. In every respect, they're as much neighbors of yours as they are neighbors of ours. That's right. Let's meet one now in today's Heartland Journal. Performing daily at Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri, is a young contemporary Christian group called Chosen Few. Their range of music bridges the gap from pop to disco to gospel. Even though this is a young group, one of the members, Brian Arnold, has experienced a great deal of pain in his life. At the age of six, he fell into the path of an oncoming lawnmower and completely severed his left leg below his knee. After the accident, his mother was determined that Brian would learn something that could carry him through life. So she made him learn to play the piano. After years of practicing, he eventually ended up in Branson, playing with the group called Chosen Few. Then, a few years ago, another accident happened. While on the way to perform with the group at a local church, his truck was hit by an 18-wheeler carrying a large payload of heavy steel. So the, I'm laying out there on the, you know, in the median of the highway. They finally get me to the hospital, and the doctors didn't expect me to live. I mean, there was about five different things that they named off that could have killed me, and didn't expect me to live. But fortunately, you know, God saw different and right. decided to keep me around. Yeah. And uh, the result of that accident left me with this left arm being paralyzed from the shoulder down, which made me have some life adjustments to make. You know, because suddenly I couldn't play the piano quite like I did before. So I, I had to make some adjustments, but you know, I'm, I've been faithful to God and God's been faithful to me. And it doesn't matter where you're at, God is right there. And when I was at right. the lowest point, God just reached down his hand and said, hey, I'm right here, I never left your side. We have a unique opportunity to share the fact that God actually is working in our lives. And in my life, people I think identify with that because they see me up here playing the piano with one hand, still singing even though I've got a paralyzed left arm and that I've got one leg. I mean, I'm still going on and I'm still trying to be faithful to God because he's faithful to me. Yeah, what's unique is they saw him uh, before the That's accident. Right. Yeah. You know, and they saw him playing with two hands and they've seen how he's grown even from this because they saw him before and now they're seeing him after. And they are seeing through his testimony and just through his life that that uh, God is faithful.